Hey internet, Tim here. I discovered a special type of text editor a while ago that is designed for environments so slow that you can't actually refresh the page. Uh, this was very common back when Unix was first created and people had to work over the network and it's called ID. And some people still use it. This person here has said, uh, I use it for little baby edits all the time. And I even had to get good one particular time when I couldn't bring up a TTY. <laughs> like you couldn't, you, your, your system was so bricked that you actually couldn't get a terminal. <laughs> so this is like the most minimalistic text editor that you're ever going to use. And I keep wondering, well, not every day, but I wonder, can I do Hello World in this thing? Like, what is it? Uh, I... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, well, I guess the first place... So... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently exiting ed doesn't control d doesn't work control d works okay so that's weird so if i wanted to write hello world how do i do it um let's look at the man page okay gnu ed is a line oriented text editor um traditional okay The full documentation for it is maintained in the tech info manual. If so, this is a GNU utility. It doesn't have man pages, of course, because GNU doesn't like man pages. That's useful. And I don't know how to use info. Um, so introduction to line editing uh, was created along with Unix. So it was originally uh, created for by them for them to develop the operating system so you can build real you things like it uh including operating systems so ed p star so do with a prompt uh you can write get the date out it's a shell Um, I really don't, okay. I, I don't need a calendar. I, let's write the buffer to the file called junk with the write command, write junk, 137, what? Write the buffer contents. Okay. So W writes the file. So that's from within inside the term, like the prompt. Where does 137 come from? From cal? Ah, read from calendar dash M. Ed sonnet. Okay. So that's what we had before. Why is it there a number? Print all the nice of the terminal. Write sonnet. There's W. Oh, I. So it literally is a line oriented thing. Okay. Uh, we want to. That's actually close to what I want. I want to add. Okay. So A. a okay. Let's try that. Add. Um, Hello.rs. A. Print line. Oh, doesn't like uh, left, the left arrow key. Hello world. Right. Uh oh. <laughs> How do I ink that? Um, okay. Control. 
question mark, not the control D. It also doesn't work. It does when you do it twice. Okay, so how do I exit? So how do I write? No, oh, commands. E. Okay, interrupt has the aborting the current command and returning to the command mode. Pin to the buffer. What the dot? Why is the dot in parentheses? If the address is zero, it's valid for the beginning of the buffer. Text is entered in input mode. That's useful. The current address is set to the address of the last line entered. If there was none, to the address line. Does that, I, edits the file, edits file unconditionally, help, insert, that's useful to, quit ed, Q, <laughs> hey, <laughs> okay, that's good, uh, we still actually don't know, so I need, Okay, so is that, I need to hit control C to exit the file, uh, sorry, to exit the append command. Hmm, okay, um, ed, hello.rs, I, A, append. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter what I write here. Control C, write 41, we'll get a number. Presumably it's the number of characters it's written and then quit. Uh, Rust C, hello.rs. Hello. Hello world. Woohoo! <laughs> so that is me <laughs> writing hello world with control C as an interrupt, which still feels a bit weird. Um, yeah, so that's that's me playing with Ed. I, um, I'm sure that you know more about it, so... <laughs> So if you've ever used this, this this editor, please let me know. Uh, the comments are waiting for you. And I will see you later. Uh, take care. And I hope you have a wonderful day.